this is courtesy of Vogue. Uh, Billie Eilish sat down for a coming out interview sort of thing, I guess, where she's essentially um, shedding her old skin and embracing her sensuality, sexuality and womanhood. It feels like um, she's kind of, you know, um, donned in this weird latex um, corset thing that I don't think really looks that great in my opinion. But again, I'm a dude. What do I know? The interview is fairly illuminating, um, not really considering she's only 19. Um, you do get the kind of sense that she's kind of figuring out herself and, you know, what she stands for and that malarkey. But just in terms of an aesthetic, right, because I understand the need for, again, I'm not really the biggest fan of her music. I don't really listen to it. It's not really made for me anyway. But in terms of just um, progressing your career as a mega pop star, this is just kind of part and parcel of the game, in it, right? You look at Madonna who kind of maybe laid the blueprint of this sort of stuff she basically reinvented herself maybe more than every decade right probably every five years maybe less than that she always had a kind of a reinvention of her sound of her look of her aesthetic you know of her vibe everything was kind of you know um ripped apart and put back together again so i guess in the kind of microwave era that we're in at the moment if you're Billie Eilish and you're you know you've got the attention of the kids right now there's no guarantee that that's going to last because it only takes one girl going on TikTok and having some sort of viral smash and all of a sudden people are forgetting about you or kind of diminishing what you know the influence that you've had in the industry so you kind of always have to keep reminding people and keeping it fresh right Lady Gaga is really good at doing that too um so I understand the need to do something like this but the shoot itself and the actual styling and the set design and photography is pretty crap, personally. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like a, um, uh, I don't know if it's sort of like an indication of where we're at now, societally, in terms of art and whatnot, or in terms of image making in general, but it's just not interesting. It doesn't really wow you. It doesn't really announce that she's on the, you know, that she's on the, that, that she's kind of evolving as an artist. If anything, that picture that she kind of, got papped outside of her home i think where everyone was kind of shocked that she had boobs right um because i guess she keeps wearing really baggy clothes so no one had an idea what she actually looked like and then i guess in a documentary or something interview she basically said that hey i never really felt that comfortable people kind of you know google kind of what's that, um, eyeing up my body in that way i didn't want to be objectified so i kind of purposely done these bigger pieces of clothes right these uh, extra large t-shirts right it's kind of early 2000s hip-hop scene sort of stuff early money uh, early sort of like cash money sort of vibe right which is commendable too because it means that she got into music for the right things she got into it for the artistry and you know um she didn't want any unworld toward attention coming or judgments coming toward the body so she decided to kind of essentially encase herself in this massive cocoon of a t-shirt and big trousers and massive shoes and whatnot and just kind of got larry with her makeup some more and her hair that was about it and then did the actual business in front of the microphone so commendable but i don't know there's just something bland and weird and frumpy about this it doesn't really scream i've arrived and like i said i think that picture that she got papped outside of her home um, in the easy slides where people saw her kind of side profile and saw her boobs is probably more impactful than these pictures and that was a fairly mundane picture of her just popping out in her pjs you know whatever going to the shops this is i don't know it just doesn't do anything for me um and she's gone she's radical change too right she's changed her um her kind of two dye sort of like hair that she has i think she mentioned in the interview it took like four dyes to get this you know platinum blonde sort of style she's obviously a very striking um girl in terms of looks wise right obviously clearly very very attractive but in terms of the sh the shoot it doesn't necessarily announce anything for me it looks a little bit burlesque I don't know about this. It but it's great. It looks a little bit burlesque. I don't know. It looks it looks a little bit it just looks frumpy. It doesn't look that great. Maybe this picture on the cover is fairly decent, but still the corset. Considering you're going to arrive somewhere and you're still kind of in tombed i guess she mentions in the interview a little bit and she's like i know people are going to be upset that you know i'm still where i'm wearing a corset so i'm not really showing skin and she's obviously battling this sort of like oh i'm not really a body positivity person yeah because i think that's probably what she's at the, the the problem the kind of clash here is that because she was wearing baggy t-shirts and big trousers and trainers and shit people just immediately assumed that she was body positive but she's not fat, is she, right? She might be um, a little bit big boned in terms of she's got like a frame on her, right? But she's not fat girl. So maybe people wrongly interpreted her need to kind of cover up and not have people, you know, staring at her goods because she just wanted to be private in that way and just interpreted it as her being um, into body positivity. 
which is obviously something that you have to tread lightly on because that whole subgenre or that whole you know um, subsect of people are very sensitive when somebody who they deem to be in their camp then decides to kind of you know get fit and get thin and get healthy quote unquote it does necessarily rile them up which i understand to be honest because i think societally if you're a bigger person every single day your existence is kind of being questioned right your right to basically breathe and to enjoy yourself and to you know whatever it may be it's just always getting questioned so when you have if i have somebody of a higher profile representing you it can kind of feel quite empowering and then when they suddenly decide to jump ship and you know do what everyone else is doing and just live a you know a skinnier life quote unquote it can really get you angry i think it's the same thing what happens to vegans you see them a lot on youtube those vegan youtubers who you know was will make a video about oh my god i was suffering i had this breakout i was, had a headache and i had to eat me and da, 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 da. vegans get so angry with that sort of stuff because you know having leading that kind of lifestyle or plant-based lifestyle raw lifestyle is you know not for the faint-hearted but it's also something that they feel very deeply about in terms of you know how they view the world and when you kind of go against it you're essentially going against their whole reality it just doesn't really bode too well but again the cover's fairly decent but i think the rest of the pictures are just a little bit meh and i'm also curious as to whether or not this actually means it's going to lead to actually interesting music not interesting no i take that back because some people think it's interesting but it's going to lead to actually an evolution in her sound let's say i don't know if that's actually the case maybe it does because even the shoes aren't that great like here the heels what well, what are these things they look just look terrible innit? i don't know it just looks really bad maybe it's just me i just don't think it looks that interesting like and again she looks really awkward in this stuff maybe it's just because she's it's legitimately might be her first time wearing this sort of stuff and you know posing in front of camera this sort of like lace lingerie sort of corset thing um it can be very awkward to do these shoots well but it just doesn't look that great personally in my opinion i don't know maybe i'm just kind of reading too much into it and again this thing with the coat like it could have done with just maybe having the tights on and maybe taking off that corset and maybe having a top on just to kind of expose the midsection a bit show a bit more skin she's got this great tattoo here which obviously not none of us have ever seen because she's fairly covered up but i don't know it's just a bit bland maybe it's just me it's just a bit bland again maybe it's um it'll take a couple of these shoots for her to get comfortable in her own skin and to kind of decide what she wants to do and who knows this might just be a little shoot it might not even be an answer it might not be an evolution of looks she might just decide to go right back to normal but there is something about this new age of pop stars like her dua lipa and stuff like maybe not her but yeah dua lipa is a good example like music is fairly decent but personality wise like they're just like they got the personality of a cardboard box in it like there's nothing behind it it just feels a little bit empty that's why sometimes when they try and do the whole bad girl thing it's just a bit cringe um, at least with Miley Cyrus you get the talent you get the singing voice and you get a genuine personality whether you like it or not right um, I'm sure a lot of people in hip-hop don't really like her you know her comments on twerking and all that stuff after she you know dipped in got a bit of hip-hop money and then dipped out again but at least she has something some je ne sais quoi do you know what I mean there's something about her she's an interesting person that like you wouldn't mind bumping into her at a bar somewhere do you know what I mean you'd have a good time but these ones are a little bit I don't know they're a little bit a little bit man maybe it's just me maybe it's just me leave me a comment down below if you think i'm right or wrong i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions